Good morning, guys. Um, so today I'm gonna do the full day of eating. Um, uh, I'm sorry, this is taking longer for me to put up than expected. Um, the days that I wanted to record it, like we ended up going out or like I, my battery died or just, you know, just stuff happens. So today I'm gonna record full day of eating. So this is a full day of eating bro diet. Uh, so this is my bikini diet. This is what I eat when I'm on prep. This is what I'm eating to prep for my cruise. Um, so that's what this is. It's not macro dieting. It's bro, extremely lean dieting. So with that being said, um, on my diet, I do carb cycling. Okay, sorry about that noise. My um, smoke detectors, batteries are going out, and it's so high up that I can't reach it, and so I have to wait for my dad to come here and fix it. So sorry about the beep. So with my bro dieting, I do carb cycling. So what carb cycling is, is you have, what the f Yeah, it's okay, I'm here. Ugh, okay, so um, what carb cycling is, <laughs> don't fall. <laughs> okay, so what carb cycling is for the fifth time, um, so you have an extremely low day, and then you have two medium days, and then you have one high carb day. So that's what I refer to when I say this is my low day, this is my medium day, this is my high carb day. So my carbs for my prep, which are extreme, which I do not recommend anyone starting this low. Um, you will die, you will kill yourself, you will hate yourself. So don't do this. Um, but for me, what I do is I have 25 grams of carbs is my low day. And on my low day, I do an hour of cardio, and I do the 15 incline speed of four treadmill for that whole hour. Whole hour, just that. Then on my medium carb day is 50 grams of carbs for two days. So it goes 25 grams one day, 50, then 50. On those 50, I do 45 minutes of cardio. And then from there, my fourth day, which is the last day of my carb cycle, I do 100 grams of carbs, so you're loading, and you have no cardio. So that you kind of, don't push the camera. So that you are like replenishing your body. You're getting all your carbs back in kind of thing. Um, so, and then you start all over again. So after the high day, you go back to your low day. 25 grams of carbs, an hour of cardio, and you just keep cycling that until your end date, your competition, your cruise, your, your wedding, your whatever it is, okay? So that's what carb cycling is. Um, and I, stop playing with this. And I have found that um, if you're in a plateau, Dakota, just go to bed. Just go to bed. Just. And I have found that whenever you are in a plateau, like with losing weight or something like that, carb cycling is great because it, in some way, it shocks your body because um, you're in such a deficit. And then you go to like a really high day and you're back to a deficit. Um, so I recommend carb cycling. I don't recommend the carbs that I personally cycle with. So I don't re recommend you doing 25 grams of carbs, 50, 50, 100. Maybe start off with 50 and then go to like 50 for a low day and then do like 75 for your medium days and do like 150 for a high day or, you know, do 75 as your low day. You know what I mean? It's always in, uh, it's always in uh, quarters. It's like you're always increasing a quarter. Um, and then also what I do eat for my carbs, which is what I'll show you, but I'll just tell you now, is I do um, lightly salted rice cakes or the white cheddar rice cakes, or I'll do, stop kicking this, or I'll do um, sweet potatoes, I'll do oatmeal, I'll do, you can do rice, I don't really care for rice, so I don't do it, um, but you can, so those are good carbs. My vegetables, freaking crap, my vegetables do not count as my carbs at all so I can have unlimited which is nice because if I'm on my low day and I'm trying to get volume in um, I can just have like a big ass chicken salad like every meal if I want to um, so carbs are unlimited uh, or vegetables are unlimited carbs so the vegetables that I can have though which you can't have certain ones well for me I can't I can have asparagus broccoli um, cucumbers spinach bell peppers and onions so those are the carbs that I can have, or the vegetables I can have. Protein is chicken breast, uh, extra lean ground turkey, or white fish. So that is my diet. But today I'm going to actually show you 
how I prepare it, how I eat it, what I use, the tricks, like the condiments that I use, um, things like that. So, um, yeah, oh, I didn't go grocery shopping for this, um, because I already have the food, but what I am going to do is I'm going to put in a clip that I recorded, like, last week when I was trying to start this full day of, full day of eating, um, sh um, recording, so I'm going to clip that in right now, show you how I prepare that, but then I'm going to jump back to today's date, so stay tuned. Bye. No. Okay. Spray it. Basic pepper. So the reason why I add water is because it's so dry that adding water gives it like a little bit of moisture. I do the seasonings on it. You can put whatever seasonings you want on it. Usually I do like lemon pepper or something like that. And then put the, the uh, lid on it and let it sit for a little bit. And then I will show you what else I do with this. Put my bowl on it. Change it to ounces. Zero it out. So almost six ounces. That's what it looks like. So I know I didn't record, well I mean I recorded everything that I ate today. I know I didn't eat all, like, all of my meals today. Um, so I'm going to do today's eating as well as tomorrow's. Um, I don't have anything going on tomorrow except for like chilling with my mom. So I should have enough time to really like eat all my meals. But it's 8.30, I just got done with the workout. I'm about to head to Temecula to go to Stampede and go line dancing with some friends. So this is my outfit this time. This dress, I am wearing shorts because I know I'm going to get flipped around tonight. So I made sure. Don't worry, guys. So this dress. And then, of course, my little cowboy boots. So this is my outfit. So tonight, this is where I'm going to conclude the vlog. And then tomorrow I'll pick back up with, just pick up my Starbucks drink and things like that. More, no, I think I'm going to make this vlog a full day of eating of my bro diet as well as like picking your best options when you're on the go. So that's what this is. So you get a little, little bit of both. I hope you guys like that. If not, I'll do a full day of just bro diet and then I'll do a full day of eating out. So this is a hybrid. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Okay. So yeah, let's go start eating because it's 11.30. I'm supposed to go to the Spectrum with my mom at 12 for some Cabo shopping. Um, but she's running late from the desert because she's coming from like Palm Desert area. Um, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one right now. Okay, so I know this isn't super appealing to look at because I think I left it in for too long. But I just used... My crock pot, I put it on high. This is two chicken breasts, and I just used the mild taco seasoning. I wasn't gonna record this last night, but my camera died, so I just didn't do it, so I'm explaining it, and I hope it makes sense. So, turn it on high, chicken breast in, water in, and then put the seasoning on top, mix it in, put the lid on it, walk away. Super simple. So that's what I'm gonna probably put on my salads. But for breakfast, since it's now 11.30 and not really breakfast time, I'm just gonna do, I'll just make a salad and I'll show you guys how I make the salad right now. And I also forgot to say that my protein is between four and six ounces per meal. I have between four and five meals a day. Not including random snacks, which are like cucumbers with like the ranch on top, which tastes like Blue Ranch Doritos in my opinion. So let's make this big ass bowl of salad. So start big ass bowl. This is the tender butter, lettuce, and then spinach. Now I'm grabbing bell peppers, cucumber, half of it because I had it yesterday. I'm 
I'm gonna take two. Now we're gonna add the chicken breast to the big ass bowl of salad. So I already know how much four ounces typically is, four to six ounces looks like. Right. And if, if you do use your crock pot um, with the water that you have left over, you can turn it into kind of like a soup, like this, like that. With that, I just make it into a soup, like at night, um, just drink it, put some like chicken in it, make it like a chicken soup. Yeah, so you can do that with it. That's what I do with it. Um, so that's my salad. I'm gonna put this balsamic on it. Basic balsamic. Two grams of carbs, 15 calories. I don't know if you can see it. Balsamic is like the lowest, I would say, salad dressing. Like everything else that has, every other salad dressing is like full of like oils and butters and fats and it's just heavy and thick like the thicker it is the fatter it is just just think of it like that so this um it's like the thinnest one i found and i like the taste of it so i put it on almost everything and even though it's 11 30 i'm gonna make some coffee right now um because i know it's gonna be a long day and shopping like, I don't want to eat all this food right now because in my head I'm like, I'm going to be shopping and I don't want to feel bloated. I don't want to be like, I don't look good so I don't want to like buy anything like that. I have to have like, I feel like most of us girls get. Um, but I'm also super hungry right now so I want to eat it. And then I'm going to have this coffee to give me some more energy even though like on camera I probably feel like I have a lot of energy. But, nope. Oh, and tonight I'm going to Stampede. I'm going to go line dancing with Steven, Autumn. Joey um, and some other friends I'm sure we're gonna meet up with um, so that's my plan So I also know I do have a long night, so I'm gonna drink some coffee right now. And I'm gonna show you how I did that shit Big cup I use the Starbucks iced coffee medium roast um, I also use the chameleon one which I love that one too, but um, Albertsons where I went and didn't have it so I just used I just bought this one so and then Almond Breeze Unsweetened Vanilla. Are you just watching mom? Look at how she watches me. So cute. Then like four ice cubes. And I have this Irish cream um, infusion, whatever. So just do like, it's kind of, it's really strong. So I just do like two squirts of it. And then anytime I eat something that's like processed or like all this stuff, like the chicken, the vegetables are not processed. It's like raw. Um, but anytime I do like coffees or I add like dressings and stuff to it, um, I just like to take my digestive enzymes from uh, Gains and Bolt. I will put my discount code on the bottom of this and also in the in the description box, but just take two. And what these do is it helps um, you not bloat, especially if you eat like a heavy meal, a heavy processed meal. Helps you not bloat. Um, it helps break down like all the carbs, the protein, the fats in your food so that you're getting like all of your macronutrients out of it. Um, so. I just love taking these. This is lunch, or breakfast, I guess. So, salad, coffee, and I'm gonna watch some Netflix until my mom gets here. Or until I have to, or until I have to meet my mom. So, I'm gonna eat this, and then I'll see you guys in the next clip for more food. What's going on, guys? Um, it is about 12.30. Um, it's my first meal. So, I know I showed you guys like um, what I had, or like how I prepped the ground turkey a few days ago. So I have about six ounces. This is what I like to do um, for like my seasoning or like my sauce. So I take sriracha, mustard, and then the Walden Farms pancake syrup. And <laughs> I don't know if it's just because I'm a competitor and so you have to kind of like manipulate your sauces and like your taste buds, but this tastes so good to me. 
it may not taste good to you though because you know you haven't done a bikini diet or maybe you have I don't know who you are that's watching but this shit tastes so good but if you haven't I don't think you're gonna like it but you can try it and let me know if you like it so I'm gonna show you how we do it so the sriracha I like it hot so I do a little bit more mustard not a ton of it and then the pancake syrup about yay much and then mix it so that's gonna be my meal one um, I'm gonna do four to five meals today also it is my low carb day so 25 grams of carbs um, so I'll show you what I'm gonna eat for my 25 grams of carbs and I'll show you what else I eat whenever I have more um, grams to spare and then I'm doing an hour of cardio today so for this last week of this bro dieting I'm gonna do I'm gonna act like it's my uh, peak week which means I'm gonna do 25 grams of carbs a day and an hour of cardio every single day so um, normally I would be doing like the carb cycle but because it's like my last week uh, I'm gonna do just 25 grams of carbs in an hour um, minute but I'm gonna eat this and then take you through what I consume <laughs> so I just ran some errands paid some bills um, I'm at the gym right now it's 25 grams of carbs today so I ate two of the rice cakes white cheddar rice cakes the carbs on this are eight grams per slice or per like cake so I had two so I have one left over and then I'm gonna reach about 25 grams of carbs so I had two for my intro and I'm going to have one for after. I'm going to go do, I think I'm going to do shoulders and arms. And then I'm going to do an hour of my cardio and then go finish some more errands. Um, no pre-workout, just doing some coffee right now. Um, yeah, that's about it. So these are the carbs that I'm having today. Also, pro tip, this is a freaking lifesaver. Because when you're dieting, gum. Sour Patch Watermelon, one watermelon in it. This candy is my favorite candy, so as a gum flavor, holy cow, I freaking love it. So if you're trying to diet, do gums, do the Mio drinks, things like that. Phenomenal. Highly recommend doing this. So I'm gonna go get this workout. That hour of cardio seriously felt like it took so much effort out of me. And also, I don't know what it is, but on like my right side, like on my glute, on the right side of, like the outer side of my right glute, it feels super tight. I feel like I need to like I pop it or like roll like a tennis ball on it or something. But I think that's what made like this hour feel so long is because all I would think about is like this pain in my in my glute. Um, but right now it's 4:30. I'm gonna go home, shower, and then go to my mom's. Make and I've only had like one meal today and like a third of my carbs. And I'm gonna go to my mom's and make the biggest fucking chicken salad bowl ever. Like oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, when I'm on a low day, I do try to um, kind of fast in a way so I can eat all my meals at night just because then like I don't have to crave like a whole bunch of carbs because I have like protein and vegetables to eat. So I try to fast like a little bit, um, nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to get it. Do this. Change because I'm a hot, sweaty mess right now. So I'll see you guys when I get to my mom's. I feel like it's our first time Every time we get together Baby, loving you feels better So I got a salad with boiled chicken uh, No, rotisserie chicken Cucumbers, bell peppers Blue cheese and balsamic <laughs> The blue cheese isn't That's my mom The blue cheese isn't in my diet um, but I just love blue cheese, so I'm gonna get it. And then right here is my my dad and then Lexi. Everyone knows Lexi already. Hey, there you are. So this is technically meal two, but I put a ton of boiled chicken on it or chicken, so that's like two meals in one. Dog was eating too. No, don't go in there. <laughs> Lexi, you already had a cucumber. You, you played with her. Yeah. 